A story for Ikigai, passion and purpose. A princess was in the forest with her friends when suddenly there was a commotion. A part of the forest had caught fire and they had to escape, run away and find some shelter, a tree. They climbed up and from the top of the tree, the princess could see the part of the forest that was burning. It was terrible. But in that horror, she could also see a bird, a nest, chicks struggling to escape. The male bird was trying its best to help the, ma the mother and the chicks, but not able to help at all. It flew away to safety, abandoning the chicks and its nest. The princess was distraught. She returned home and couldn't forget what she saw. And what stuck with her was the bird flying away. Are all men this way? If bird can show this kind of behavior, I'm sure men are the same. I determined not to go near a man. I will not marry. And so she became the princess who determined not to marry. Yet she was a beautiful one and word of her beauty reached the far corners of the land. And the neighboring king wished to marry her. But how? How to convince her, the princess, to marry him. She determined not to marry, isn't it? He sent emissaries, he sent his minister, but she would just not budge. The minister had a daughter, a girl of very wise and very resourceful means. She was an artist and could draw and paint quite beautifully. When she heard the king's dilemma, she went up to her father and requested him to give her permission to visit the palace of the princess and assess why the princess, find out what was the reason the princess had determined, made such a terrible determination. There were rumors and people did not really know. I will find out what is the reason. Let me go. The minister was unhappy to let his dear daughter go on this mission. He was not sure that it was her position to do this. But she was a very resourceful one. And so, she set off with her pains, her bag, and arrived at the, at the kingdom of the princess. When she inquired and asked around, everybody had a different story to tell her. And the girl realized she would have to get closer and perhaps the real story would come only from people who's, who were close to the princess. But how does one get close to a princess? Through her art. That's what the girl decided. Saralata was her name. And Saralata found a place quite close to the palace and set out her beautiful paintings. Every day she would paint and draw the scenes that she encountered in the kingdom. And people passers-by would watch her painting and amaze at her skill and her dedication and her love for painting. Word reached the palace and the princess too wanted to meet this very unusual girl traveling alone who was painting scenes from the kingdom. Bring her to me. Let me see her. And soon the princess commissioned her to make paintings for the walls of the palace, which Saralata did 
with joy. In that, she also had another motive. She made friends with the princesses, maids and helpers. And soon the story of that incident came to her. And Saralata knew what was the problem. She identified a wall that was big enough for her and set about to paint on the wall. This painting was so different. Everyone amazed when they saw the detail, the fineness and the, the reality of how the characters were coming out. There was a deer, there was a prince, there was a forest and there was a fire. What is this? What have you drawn? But Saralata would not tell anyone what she had drawn. She waited for the right moment for the princess to arrive. And arrive she did. To look at that beautiful wall which showed an antelope struggling in a fire. A prince watching from a tree seeing the mother abandon its young ones while the father remained to take care of the little calves. How is it that you know this story? I don't, Your Highness. I just imagined another way of looking at this story and I drew my version of the story. Is that so? I'd never thought of that. Well, there is always many versions to every story. And that is the truth, dear princess. This made the princess think and think. And when she finally came out of her little shell, she confided in Saralata and Saralata confided in her to tell her about the proposal that her king had sent through her. The princess whose eyes had opened through the drawing, through the painting of young Sarlata, agreed to a meeting and the rest, they say, was destiny. The two were happily married and forever grateful to Sarlata for showing them a different perspective to the same story. As for Sarlata, she continued to paint with passion to create real pictures that people could take back and hang on their walls and look and enjoy. She followed her passion till the day she died. So what is that passion of yours that does not let you sleep and keeps you awake at night? Think of any of your dreams or passion and write about it. What is it that keeps you motivated and makes you want to live a life of meaning?